Hey there, do you know exactly what you can do to get people that you lead or coach to step up to responsibility faster, bigger, taller, and take ownership? If you don't, check this out. So I'm getting ready to do another online session of our most popular workshop, which is called the Responsibility Process Leading and Coaching Workshop. Traditionally, it's been delivered in one day uh, in person, uh, and now we're doing it online uh, in a series of shorter uh, sessions over uh, a number of days. And uh, some people were asking me uh, about what it's gonna look like, uh, and I thought I'd uh, tell you what I told them. So the number one thing that I've learned about what I can do to get people around me to take responsibility, to take ownership, to step up higher, faster, is darn it, I can demonstrate responsibility myself. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that if I expect them to take responsibility, all right, I've done enough, all right, it's their turn, they should take responsibility then I'm probably actually in blame. I'm not leading, right? In that case, I'm controlling, manipulating, complaining. It's not leadership, it's not coaching. Right? So the leading and coaching behavior to get other people to step up is for me to ask myself, what question could I ask? What mental state could I adopt? What problem could I choose to be bigger than right now? How could I show up right now? so that these people would show up differently. You know, I, I think if you're leading and coaching others, what you're really about is about inspiring greatness or awesomeness or the best they can be in them. And that means if you're not inspiring greatness or awesomeness or the best you can be in you, then you're probably falling short of leading and coaching them. So that's the number one thing. We're gonna look at that and we're gonna spend uh, probably half the workshop and how do you apply the responsibility thinking to yourself so that you can bring awesomeness into your own life and people will want to lead you or uh, follow you uh, naturally. And then there's a couple of other things that are uh, gonna be pretty interesting. For instance, do you have a language of responsibility that you're very comfortable with and that you bring into your leading and coaching platform that you can use with others so that you can talk about the power of responsibility and the power of responsibility thinking. And then finally, are you aware of all the things that you were taught to do during your career that actually take responsibility away from other people, that actually diminish responsibility thinking in them? Yeah, that actually put them into coping, put them into dependency on you, put them into blaming you if what you told them to do doesn't work. Do you know those things? We're gonna look at those things too. All right. Um, wherever you are in your journey, I wish you well. Thank you for paying attention to the responsibility message. We're here to support uh, DIY uh, practices as well as uh, if you want our help, we're always here. And if you're interested in this content, check out the Responsibility Process Leading and Coaching Workshop online. I'll love seeing you there.